Conversions are another way to figure tax, tip, and discount. If we know the state charges 5% sales tax on services and our haircut is $30, how much tax is added? Well, in this case, our proportion is going to compare part out of whole. So percents are already a proportion comparing a part out of 100. So 5% would be 5 out of 100. A haircut, we're also going to look, compares part out of whole. $30 would be the whole cost of the haircut, and we're looking for what part we're going to have to spend on sales tax. So that means we need to solve 5 out of 100 equals something out of 30. So to solve that, we can use cross products. So we're going to multiply 5 times 30, and we're going to multiply 100x. 5 times 30 is then going to give us 150. Then we're going to need to undo our multiplication. We're going to undo our multiplication with division and divide both sides by 100. When I divide 150 by 100, that comes out to give us 1.5. Since we're talking about money, that means we're going to have to pay another $1.50 in sales tax. Now, that same strategy is going to work if we want to leave our stylist a 20% tip. 20% represents 20 out of 100, so there's our part out of whole. And again, our whole haircut costs $30, and we're looking for what part of that we're going to leave in a tip. So now that we have that set up, we can again solve with cross products. We're going to multiply 20 times 30 and 100x. 20 times 30 gives me 600, then I'm going to need to undo my multiplication with division. When we do that, we're going to divide both sides by 100. 600 divided by 100 comes out to give us 6, so that means if we leave our stylist a 20% tip, that's going to be worth $6. Proportions can also be used to figure out how much an item is going to cost after a discount. So a store is having a going out of business sale. All items are 50% off. How much would a $25.99 item cost after the discount? Well, again, we're comparing part out of whole. So a 50% discount means it's 50 out of 100 for our part out of whole. So then for our item, $25.99 is going to be our whole because that's the entire cost of the item. And we're looking for what part is going to be taken off. So now we can use cross products. So that means we're going to have 50 times $25.99 and we're going to have 100 times X. When I multiply 50 times $25.99, that comes out to give me 12.99.5, and then I'm going to have to undo my multiplication with division. We're going to divide both sides by 100. When we divide 12.99.5 by 100, that comes out to give us 12.995. Now this is money, so that means we're going to have to round off to that nearest penny. 5 is going to bump the 99 up to the next whole dollar, so that means we're going to have $13. Now this $13 is our discount. That's what we save, not what we spend. So now we have to figure out how much we're actually going to pay for that item. Well, originally that item cost $25.99, but it was 50% off, which means we're going to take $13 off the cost of that item. So after we do that, that's going to come out to be $12.99. So $12.99 is what we're actually going to pay for that sale item. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.